Hello everyone. Everything is working now. I am alive. So today I want to keep it up on the Russian language. Let me see. This. Okay. We can keep learning it. It would be fun, as usual. Here we go. Let me know if you hear me, if you see me, if everything is okay. Hello, hello. <clears throat> okay. I have as well this uh, board. <clears throat> it's a uh, virtual board where usually I teach with my wife so anyone can join it and and uh, you can write there edit I will share the link very soon Let me check. So here is the link to the board. It's a cool board where anyone. Hello, King Country Kiwi. I nice see you. So it's a board where anyone can join and can edit and see here and I can correct. So it's a cool cool thing by the way. It's easy to register there and to use it. As I said, me and my wife use it. Wait a moment. I'll come back. I have a neighbor here complaining about us being being noisy and we don't hear them at all. Know how they hear us. Okay. So everything is okay. So this is the port. Ah, let me know by the way, do you hear me well? Everything is okay. <clears throat> How is the sound? How is the picture? Okay, well, if anyone want to join this uh, board, uh, I will just tell you how to, for example, when you can zoom here, you can uh, zoom out, zoom, zoom in, you put your hand there, click the hand and you can move the table like this yeah there is this one to erase click on this one to write 
you can make it like more big like this anyway a lot of cool options here so let me why it's not black okay let me try to to make it bigger maybe i need to zoom it ah okay so i need to zoom this move it with your my hand like this and i can write like this yeah it's good okay the sound is good everything is okay so the most uh, <coughs> famous word in russian is the word Privet. So Privet. Last time, by the way, uh, the previous time I learned, I shared the letters, the Russian letters. And now I want to share like <coughs> everything that is related with hello, with welcoming. So the first one is Privet. A lot of people know what's Privet, like this P, this is R, or R in Russian, this is E, Privet, B is V, B, no, V, V is P in English. <laughs> <laughs> this is a little bit confusing. B, English B, it's V, 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 Privet. And E, it's like Ye, E, Ye, it's the same. Oh, my hands. Privet. And T, it's the same T. Like, this is the the cool thing that uh, some letters are the same here we go hello last one you are not the first one to date <laughs> you missed okay here we go Privet. it's with my uh, <laughs> confusing Privet. yeah so, uh, and I would write it in letters as well, in these letters, so to be clear. Yet, something like that. I don't know if I can put it bigger here or not. Let's try. No, this is the maximum. Mm -hmm. no, or I can just zoom it like this. Привет. Привет. Yeah, confusing because B it's V. It's V. Привет. But T it's T. E it's E. Yeah, the same. E it's like N, but not N. <laughs> like <laughs> like N upside down. E. P it's R R P it's R R P in English P it's R and P uh, this P is Russian P <laughs> yeah this is I mean uh, yeah that's last time uh, yeah it could be confusing but when somebody is used to it they can learn even me, I sometimes confuse, like I start writing and I, I, I have to concentrate. But it's good training for brain. <laughs> when you are, when you write something you are not used to, it's a good training. Okay, Privet, it's uh, hi or hello. Privet, hi, hello. It's easy. Uh, okay, next one. 
Привет. Есть. Uh, there is a word like after привет. Okay, this is this this one would be hard. We have the word привет in English language. Private. Ah, private. <laughs> It's a good association, by the way. When you learn a language with associations, is is the best thing to do. Yeah. So Russians. So you now we all learned that Russians start by private directly. <laughs> they don't have like any preparing. Let's go to private directly. Private private. Uh, I never thought about it. This, by the way, <laughs> private. Uh, yeah, why being said a lot Russian videos? Why? What is why? I hear why being said in a lot of Russian videos. Why? Почему? Почему? You, you mean почему? Okay, the other word is a little bit... I don't know, I, I, even me, okay, I will try to write it and uh, will check myself at the same time. If I am, I don't know, if I'm still good at Russian or not. Okay, there is a word also for hello. It's f for more professional language, you can say. Z, dra, zdra. This is D. Yeah, I don't write very well here in the desk because it's not that easy here to write. Zd, ra, er, zdravstvujte. It's, it's, uh, they read it like zdravstvujte without v. Zdravstvujte. But it's like zdravstvujte written. Zdrav, s, Здравствуй, it's if uh, somebody you know, like uh, like a friend, but when, oh, somebody joined it here, I see somebody is trying to write. Who is there? <laughs> you can zoom it and find me. Who is there? Somebody is trying to write here. By the link, you join it. Who is joining? You can, like, try to find me there, like. Zoom it, zoom out, zoom out, and try to find me. And who is there? Ah, Gwen. Gwen, I see you there. Gwen Stone. I know you couldn't find me, or what? <laughs> I mean, you couldn't find me where I am writing. Yeah, it's a little bit confusing when you start using this uh, board. But you will learn with it. Like, you click on the hand, and with the hand, you find me where I am writing and you can write next to me and it's, uh, it's especially not working very well in the phone so it's better to use it in uh, the laptop yeah Gwen in the laptop is better I don't know if you are using in the phone a lot of people complain that this he drew this board is not working well on the phone but you can try I don't know I tried that in the phone and it was working you click on the hand and Find me where I am writing, like zoom in, zoom out, and try to find me. And you will see me writing like this. Crazy thing. Zdravst. Vui. Zdravstvui. 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 Oh my god. Okay, I'll start with writing this. Okay. Very hard to write with the hand. Zdravstvui. Zdravstvui. It's also like uh, hello. I will also try to write it with the normal letters. Z, d. I don't have also here the keyboard. Zdravstvui. Okay. Zdravstvui. Zdra. 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 I will zoom it. Okay. Zdravstvui. 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 
let me check it if I am right or not. Uh, copy, where is copy? It's not copy. Okay. Z Draw Здравствуй, you say for a friend and здравствуйте for someone you respect like for your teacher someone здравствуйте здравствуйте something like that it's written like this it's written a little bit hard like здравствуйте but they read it like здрасте 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 Zdra they don't pronounce s t all this they don't pronounce. I don't know what why it's written like Zdrasti 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 This is for ah formal so Zdrastuiti it's formal and просто as здравствуй, it's for a friend. But but for a friend, it's better to to say привет and that's it. <laughs> it's the best one, the, the best the best uh, way to uh, say hello. Or also like guys between them, they say здоров, 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 здоров. If we translate also the word Zdarov, it will be like Zdarov. Zdarov, it will be like uh, healthy. Healthy. Zdrasvuiti, it's formal. Hello. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, Old East Slavic Privet. <laughs> Proto Slavic Privet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see, like. Uh, most Slavic languages are almost the same. Yes, yeah, здравствуй, здравствуйте, здорово, здорово, здоров, yeah, or здорово, they say здорово, or здорово. Oh, Gwen, you are close to me. Oh, here we go, Gwen. Like you can write now in the top, like uh, higher, above, above. So you can write, I can see you. You can click now, instead of clicking on the hand, click on the pen. Yeah, start writing something. I see you here. Look at Glenn, she's trying here. Try to write Privet. Yeah, you are cool. Oh, 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 cool, cool, cool. You are writing. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, finally. Z. Yeah, it's D. It's like, look, 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 looks like A, but I like a little bit. With with these things like here, the the with this th thing, you see how it's cool. It this uh, uh, this uh, board. So somebody will write like this, and they will correct, and they will check. It's a very cool one. It's f free to use. Yes, though, yes. Here instead of o R, you have to L write O. Zdo. Rov. And continue, Rov. Starov или здорово. Yeah, some people just... Uh, 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 they cut it to здоров. 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 Something like that. So, it's a little bit a hard word. Привет, it's better. <laughs> Private. Private is better. Private. Привет. Private. <laughs> oh my god, I, I never thought about that. Okay. Gwen, keep writing. Do Keep doing the lesson. Zdorov. You need R. It's hard to write. I'm not used to it. Yeah, it's hard. But you can, for example, uh, but you don't have the, 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 the... Yeah, well done. You are doing well already. I mean, uh, what I want to say. Ah, you could write, for example, in, in Russian letters, but you don't have the keyboard. So and maybe you don't have the Russian language installed in your 
a phone. Usually, like people when they uh, uh, R, you can to write right R next to O. Maybe you need to zoom out it. So zoom in, zoom out. Uh, yeah, usually if uh, somebody like is uh, want to learn a language, I mean they they I advise them to install it in uh, the phone. It's easy to to do in the phone or in the PC to add to the language. Yeah. So, uh, hello everyone who is joining. If you want to join us in the a virtual uh, virtual board you can join us with that link and we will keep learning okay yeah you get to used to it yeah with the phone it's better you can just write it like this with your hands but with the mouse I am working with the mouse now it's it's a little bit harder was the rough okay let me move to the next word. You will get used to that. Let me move to the next word here. So we said привет, it's hello, здравствуй, it's like for friends or здорово or здоров. Здравствуйте is more formal. Okay, let's remove this, whatever it was. Yeah, you can keep trying Gwen and they will check after that. What you were, were writing. Oi. Okay. Okay. So, good morning. You can move to the good morning word. That's, uh, good morning, it's like Dobraya Utra. Dobraya, it's good. The De Dobre Dobre it's good O it's just simple O like uh, English O B it's a little bit something like that It's B Dob R it's English P Dobraya Roya yeah, sometimes when uh, in Russian you write O and instead of uh, O, you, they pronounce it like A. It's hard to understand. I mean, it's. Uh, I mean, uh, you just have to use to it a lot of things in Russian. You have to use to them. Dobroye, dobraya, dobraya. But pisa dobroye, dobraya, dobraya, dobraya. It's good. It's uh, good. And morning utra. Morning u. Why it's u. Why English why it's u. U. T. Ro. Also, we write utro. And we pronounce it like o utra. This is o. Dobre utra. Let me try to write it in letters. Do B Raya Utro something like that. And this okay, this is one. Dobre Utra. This is the one. Dobre Utra. Dobre, it's good. Utra, it's morning. Good morning. Dabro. Dabro it's good. When people they do the bro, that means they do the good thing. Let me check what's Gwen, how Gwen is doing here. Zdaro, zdaro, o, okay, and v, v it's uh, v Russian v that means English b. Zdaro, okay, dobre utra, it's the mo good morning. 
Another way to say good morning in Russian. Ah, с добрым утром. Yeah, we can say that, yes. It's uh, like the most used is доброе утро, but с добрым утром. With, с добрым утром, it's like with the good morning, with the good morning. Доброе утро. Uh, here, for example, there is the word evening. You just remove these because it's kind of, uh, I'll say, it's dobre uh, utra. So in Russian, there is like three genders, not like in English. I mean, despite uh, <laughs> maybe the third gender is not that popular in Russian, in Russia, uh, but they have the third gender in the Russian language. But in English, word, uh, in English, uh, in English, there is no third gender, and in French, I think, also there is no. It's just like f masculine, feminine. In English, also masculine, feminine. But there is it. But it is. I mean, when it, when you use like, uh, when you say good, the adjective, ad adjective di didn't change. Don't change the. The adjective don't change in the English language. <laughs> yeah. In the English language, so the adjective don't change. In French too, yeah. Femina and masculin. Okay. Uh, uh, the, the adjective stay the same in English. Like good, good woman, good man, good uh, uh, something. Yeah. But uh, in Russian, the adjective can change depending on the gender. Okay, Dobraya. Dobre Utra, it's uh, good morning. Okay, let's check again. What's how is Gwen doing? Oh, good. We are moving to Dobre Utra. Dobraya, yeah, cool, cool. Dobraya, R, yeah. By the way, Gwen, to make it uh, like uh, better. To write better, you can click on the A B and uh, make it uh, thin, uh, th thicker, thicker. Choose twenty, twenty for example, writing with twenty or the, or the text. Choose forty text stroke. I, I think the text forty px, and it would be more clear because it's now it's like you are writing big, but it's uh, it's not uh, that clear. Just click on the the ABC, then go uh, make it 40, and again click on the pen and write. So it will be more clear, clear more dark, or how to say. Anyway, so let's move to other le our lesson again. Going in doing doing very well. <laughs> uh, so we said that uh, the gender uh, the adjective can change depending on the gender a lot of language have masculine and feminine words yeah but they don't have the the middle like uh, the let's see it they don't they have maybe it but uh, they don't have like between how to say between uh, Man and woman, they call it uh, the middle gender. Anyway, uh, vecher. So ultra, it's like the middle. It, ultra, it's like it, it, ultra. Uh, and uh, vecher, vecher, it's uh, on like him, him. So, like even the thing can be him. I mean, I mean, not necessary. To be alive, so vecher it's masculine, masculine. That's why it will be dobry, not dobraya. Dobraya it's for the middle gender, you can say, or I don't know how to call it. Um, usually, I when I teach, I teach with my own words, and the vecher it's masculine, so it would be dobry. 
it's the letter U. It's uh, the letter that uh, you don't find in other languages, like in French or any other languages. U, U. It's E, but very hard. U, U. Dobry. So dobry. Dobry. Y. This is E. E with this thing above. It's E. Neutral. Yeah, neutral gender, maybe. Okay. Dobry. Utro. Dobre. Yeah? And evening. Dobry. Vecher. Dobry. Vecher. Vecher. Dobry vecher. By the way, the previous time one guy entered here, here and he said that he's learning Ukrainian and he doesn't want to learn Russian. And now I am think, thinking like, I mean, uh, I am thinking, oh, like uh, uh, there is a saying uh, in, um, in uh, Russian. <laughs> it's so cool to uh, implement this saying here. Like... Uh, yeah, the saying in Russian, they say, like, uh, you remember, uh, you remember the shit and you st start smelling it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, something like that. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, so, someone like this, like, joined it and uh, said that he will, uh, he wanted to learn uh, Ukrainian or Russian because of you know and uh, <laughs> and uh, you uh, what I said <laughs> and I wanted to say now like it's also like even if you consider Russia your enemy it's good to you to know the the language of your uh, of your enemy because it's a wise thing to do like usually in i watched a lot of uh, movies about war about everything and i've seen like how people they learn the language of the enemy to uh, to win him so think about that and here by the way in the streams uh, i decided to not talk about politics or about anything else so and what you will talk about that will be just blocked and that's it because i need to save my uh, Psychological health. Okay, Gwen is doing very well. She wrote Dobr Dobraya e, e. Okay, I will help. Dobraya Utra. Very well. Dobraya Utra. Yeah, and now you're you're uh, you are writing very with very good uh, uh, very good uh, how to say. It's clear, I mean, now it's more clear. But something goes, is wrong with the, your letters are getting bigger. <laughs> Try to make them smaller. Dobri, dob. Oh, what is that? It's not clear. Anyway, dobre utra, you wrote very well. Like, dobre utra. Very well. Well done. Okay, dobre vecher. Okay, let me. Come back to the Dobry Vecher. Oh, here I need to write in this. So, Dobry, to make it more clear now, I will make it like this. Not with my, my how to say, my, uh, how to say, my mouse. Not with my my mouse. It's not that clear. Dobry vecher. Hmm. Here is it. Dobry vecher. It's good evening. Good evening. Yeah. 
добрый вечер. Простите. Доброе утро. It's... Добрый вечер. It's the evening. Добрый... Доброе утро. It's the good morning. And... Uh... Uh, any others? Привет, здоров, доброе утро, добрый вечер. Maybe even доброй ночи also. You see, like uh, ночь, it's hair. Yeah, ночь, it's hair. That's why it's cool. Uh, they say they write доброй ночи. It's hair. Доброй. It's feminine, notch. Hello, Luis. Nice to see you. Dobrey. Nochi. Reading this Russian text to me, it's like trying to read Egyptian hier <laughs> hieroglyphs. Yeah. I mean, uh, still, I mean, hieroglyphs are h harder. <laughs> Or for example, Chinese is harder. For me, Chinese is harder than this. There are, in my opinion, harder languages for English-speaking people to learn. Because uh, they are totally different. At least in Russian, there are similar words. Like administration, administration, organization, organization like, I don't know, parkovka or park, parking. A lot of things. Dobrei nochi. Noch it's uh, night. Dobrei noch. Dobrei nochi. Dobrei nochi. Some similarities to Greek letters, I think, but I can't speak that either. Ah. Some similarities to Greek. Cool. Okay, доброй ночи. And let's check again how... Oh, cool. You are doing well, Gwen. Ночь, ночь. You started to write ночь, доброй. Доброй ночи. Okay, and I will write that with my normal... With the normal language. <laughs> Not my... I, I. By the way, I have very bad... Very bad style of writing, even with with my hands when I write. It's horrible. I don't know what's going on with my hands. Okay, dobrei. Dobrei nochi. Something like this. Dobrei nochi. Dobrei nochi. Like... The night. Good night. Dobrej nochi. Sometimes they mean good night when, uh, uh, like th the same meaning, but they can say good night otherwise. Dobrej nochi. I heard any word that ends in John, action, attention, function, comes from French languages. Yeah. The French language seems to be very old language. Yeah, even it's older than English. And I learned about uh, the English uh, uh, history and uh, it's coming from French. So English language is a new language. In fact, the French is more the old one. A lot of uh, English words are coming from French. Sisa. Sisa in French. Okay, dobre nochi. Okay, by the way, Gwen, you can also, uh, when you finish, you can remove like anything that is you don't need. You can click on the eraser and erase that if you don't need it. Because you are kind of writing on the old writing. Uh, and it's not that clear what you are writing. 
Доброй. Доб. Би. Есть доброй. Ночи. Here should be о. Доброй. О. Доброй. О. Доброй. Ночи. It's correct. Spanish affected English a lot because of the Normans. Yes. The kings of England spoke only French, I think, until 13th. Oh. That's cool. Доброй ночи. And there is another also saying when at night they say not доброй ночи. They say also спокойной ночи. Like uh, quiet night or uh, calm night. Something like that. Quiet night. Спокойной. Спокойной. С спокойной. Спо. Again, they write O. They read it A. I think in French there is also they write O and read it A sometimes. I don't remember. Спо. Ко. Y. Спокойной. Спокой. Ной. Or something like that. Спокойной. Спокойной ночи. And let's write it in normal language. <laughs> my, no my language is not that normal. Okay, доброй ночи. And instead of доброй, there is спокойной. Спокойной. Спокойной ночи. Like, hello, Christina. Your live stream con can see this with inside Russia, so I just hear no. Ah. Mm, yeah. I just uh, stream when I can because today uh, to stream at uh, this late I had to sleep uh, at uh, 8 p.m. till I don't know I was very tired so I at 8 p.m. I went to sleep and I slept till maybe 11 p.m. to be awake now and to be able to stream because I was very tired and it's very uh, late here. Anyway, спокойной ночи. It's uh, it's calm or quiet night. By the way, guys, we have here a table like called it's called virtual virtual board. It's free to use, so anyone can join with the link. You can join with the link. And uh, you can write here, and they will correct you or help you somehow if you want to learn. Oh, so Gwen learned how to erase. It's very cool. And she's writing Spakoi Nai. Yeah, you are doing very well. Spakoi Nai Nochi. Let me charge. Okay. Good. Okay. Let's continue. We said спокойной ночи. So now let, let us recap. Recap everything. Opa. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we said привет. Today привет. It's hello. <laughs> like uh, Kiwi said private <laughs> in English. Something private. Russians, they start with private <laughs> right away. Okay. Привет, it's hello. Yeah, cool, Christina. You mean inside Russia just finish it now? If he, I think he usually starts at 11 p.m., my 11 p.m., and finish about now. Yeah. Привет, it's hello. Uh, 
like hello or hi. Здравствуйте. 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 It's formal hello. In uh, you can learn it in uh, in uh, you can say it for you know for older people or for your teacher or for somebody you respect. Здравствуйте. It's written like здравствуйте. <laughs> It's crazy, but it's uh, mm, it's uh, you can read it like здравствуйте. So let let me let uh, leave the the letters that are uh, that are uh, that we have to read in black, and the letters that we don't need in uh, in. Uh, in other language, in other color. Okay, здрас, здрас, здрас. That means v. We don't pronounce. Let's make it like this color. Oh no, I can't change the color apart. Ah, uh, crazy. Anyway, so okay. Здравствуйте. So this letter V don't read. Здрас, здрас, твой. Т. Здравствуйте. 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 Здрасте. Or they say just здрасте. Здрасте. Like they remove all these letters. I don't know why they write them. So здравствуйте. But they read it like Здрасте. Здрасте. Something like that. It's abbreviation. It's not uh, correct writing. Здрасте. 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 So we have привет. Здрасте. Or we have здорово. Здорово. It's for guys. Like, I don't know. Or they abbreviate that like здоров. Здоров. Здрасте. Or, здрасте, or, здравствуй, it's written like здрасте, but it's pronounced like здрасте, здрастуй, здрасте, the same, здрасте. Anyway, здрастуйте, it's здрасте, abbreviation, it's a formal one, it's better to say привет, <laughs> everybody would understand you. Здоров, it's for guys, like, I don't know, for cool guys. Здоров, здоров, братан. Братан, it's my, my brother. Здоров. Здоров, it's also for the streets. Street hello. Здоров. Доброе утро. Доброе утро. Утро. Доброе утро, it's... Good morning. Доброе утро. It's good morning. Доброе утро. It's good morning. Добрый вечер. It's good evening. Добрый но she eats uh, good night. Доброй ночи. Привет, здрасте, здоров, доброе утро, добрый вечер. I am studying Russian already, but I don't know a lot. I wish I knew the Cyrillic when I was in Russian. It would have been fun reading store and street signs. I mean, when I was in Russia. Ah. I love the Cyrillic alphabet, I learned a lot of them. When to place the soft hard sign confused me. Uh, yeah, the soft hard sign, it's uh, easy to know. Just if the soft, if the letter is soft, like you put the soft one. If the letter is like hard or like b, d, r, you just put the. Uh, 
a harsh sign, but I mean, yeah, sometimes O is pronounced like, like, ah, like Zdarova. It's written Zdarov, but they write it like, they read it like Zdarova. Dobraya Utra also, Dobraya, they say Dobraya, Utra, Utra also. They don't say Utro, Utra, Dobrai Vecher, Dobrai Ai, Dobrai, instead it's written O, but pronounced as A. Yeah. Those are all the. So let's check how is Gwen doing. Yes, Pakoina Inochi. Correct. Privet correct. Zdrastui correct. Or Zdrasti. Cool. You are doing well, Gwen. Okay. Okay, usually when uh, they meet each other, so the first thing to ask about after, uh, the first thing to ask after saying hello is how are you? And it's like, kak, kak, it's how, kak. Как дела? Дела, like things or your business, how is your business? Как дела? Дела. Yeah, you, once you get used to it, it's okay, you can do it after Dila it's a very cool uh, board by the way so как дела what's up you can say what's up <laughs> or uh, how are you something like that so let me write it here as well как дела как Дела. How are you? Как дела? Something like that. Дела. Как дела? How are you? Or how is your business? Delights. Stuff, business, things. Как дела? And you reply reply good that means хорошо как дела хорошо хорошо Хорошо. Как дела? Хорошо. Хорошо, it's good. Хорошо. Окей. Хорошо. 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 Also, like, you see, like, crazy, I mean. <laughs> they write хорошо, but they read it хорошо. With A here. There's no A. <laughs> but this is Russian. It's crazy. You have to get to used to it. And there is no rule, I mean. Just хорошо, just хорошо. Yeah. Хорошо. Хорошо. Сейчас write horror show, but you read it хорошо. Как дела хорошо? How are you? Fine.
you can say as well very very fine very fine sometimes they use this expression very fine Очень хорошо. Очень хорошо. Очень, and you add хорошо. Очень. Very fine. Очень. Очень хорошо. Очень хорошо. Хорошо, очень хорошо. Как дела? Хорошо, очень хорошо. We go. Oh, хорошо. And you see, usually also when somebody do something good, they say, tell хорошо, you did well. For example, I can tell to Gwen, хорошо, очень хорошо, very well. Also, хорошо, it's well. Good or well. Очень хорошо. Очень хорошо, Гуэн. Something like that. Очень хорошо. Хорошо, очень хорошо. Okay. And you use also the word when it's uh, good or... I have no idea how to call that in English. It can be translated as good. Maladets. Like, I don't know, maladets, how to translate it in English. Like when somebody does something good, they tell them, you are the maladets, you are maladets. Maladets is like a word used to tell someone that he's doing well. Maladets. Yeah, you see, it's translated like well done, but it's not, uh, not brave, not, uh, I don't know, not well done. Maladets is a, a, a noun used to tell the person that he's doing well, like uh, maladets. I don't know, let me, for example, translate the, the the divin definition of maladets. Let's try to find it and translate it to be more uh, clear. Brave man, clever man. No, I mean, it's, it's used like even me, like, I mean, I don't understand very well. Значение. Значение. Brave. Not that, though. Молодец. Okay. Okay, so... Maybe this one is better. When someone, for example, I can g tell to Gwen the maladies to express approval, praise for some clever, excellent deeds, successful actions, something like that. For example, if I say Gwen the maladies, that means you are doing well, and you are good at that thing that you are doing. Maladies. They say it also a lot to kids. Maladies. Also, again, they write more law and they read it like a hey, maladies. Maladies. They write more law deeds. Maladies. And again, in the normal language. It's something like that. This is a mistake here. Maladits. Maladits. Well done. Yeah, it's not relation related to introduction, but it's something related to this yeah i think i think that's all 
for today's stream. I want to try also to stream for members of the channel. I will create also a little stream and see because I never streamed for the members of the channel. I will try that as well right now after this one. It will be interesting. Maladies, Molo. Yes, yeah. Harasho Maladies. Very well. Yeah, so those are all the hello thing or the introduction. Privet, Strastvui, Strastvui, Zdarov. Dobre Utra, Dobre Vecher, Dobre Nochi. Как дела? How are you? Хорошо. Очень хорошо. Very well. Yeah. So that's it. For this stream. I'm gonna move now to stream for members. So you can also be a member of this channel. If you want. I will try also like to create special content for members because I didn't have like a lot of time to do that and I need to do that yeah in the members uh, stream um, I may like uh, open the Skype uh, so anyone can join and we can have fun and you can talk with me like right in the stream and other people see it will be cool yeah otherwise i hope you like this stream thank you for joining i hope you enjoy it and see you in my next videos and streams thank you very well for supporting this channel yeah cool one okay goodbye guys <laughs>